And the biggest problem for Europe is really the the whole structure of the EU. They're just really trying to federalize it. And that is what's causing a lot of the problems. Um, They didn't leave it with just an economic trade union. They really came up with this idea that they thought they would eliminate uh, the potential of another European war if there's only one government. And but they they really didn't quite understand that it's not it's more than just government. You have a a lot of social you know distinctions there. And um, actually, when I was over in Europe doing interviews uh, for the forecaster. Um, I explained because, I mean, the the EU Commission originally came to me back in 1997. And so I was there. I know exactly what they did. And I told them that, look, the euro is going to fail unless you consolidate the debts. If you consolidated all the debts, like Hamilton did, he took all the debts from the states. Then thereafter, they have their own debts. But then you would have something to compete against the dollar. Then you have a market where somebody can call up, okay, fine, um, you know, give me 20 billion worth of uh, worth of euros. Here we're back to having to test the credit ratings for every individual member. And that that is really kind of like, can you imagine in the States if the reserves of banks were made up of the debts of the states? And Mississippi went down then everybody would suddenly be rushing around and saying, oh, well, which bank owns the most of Mississippi? You know, So you don't have a single federal debt. And that is why the euro has never been able to really compete against the dollar. 